welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I made a crafting video, but I am going to go back at this again because I didn't really go into too much detail um, when I posted this on TikTok. It was just for shits and giggles, but it's that time of year. Um, Valentine's is coming up. Black History Month is coming up. And what better way to celebrate than making DIY canvases um, using no Cricut. So I am going to show you guys how to do that now. So if you are down for that, like, share, subscribe, and let's get into it today. All right, so you're going to need two different types of canvases. I'm using an eight and a half by ten and an eleven and a half by fourteen. I'm using Photo Paper Direct or PPD inkjet transfer paper, the dark kind. It really doesn't matter if you use this one or the light kind. Scissors and black sharpie, your prints and your T-shirt press. Now. If you don't have a Cricut, that is so fine. I don't have one either, so this is what I do. So I make sure that I scale the image down smaller than the canvas. I think I did a six and a half by nine something was my measurements in my printing app. And then I'm going to cut as close to the image as I possibly can, as you can see here, without actually cutting into the image itself. Now, a lot of people think you have to run out if you're going to do crafting like this and get a Cricut. And I say no. Practice and then figure out if you want to invest all of that money in a Cricut. Because it is really expensive even if you buy one used from someone. And that's me grabbing some parchment paper. This will help the image not stick on my t-shirt press and my weeding tool to take the image apart from the back so it'll stick onto the canvas. Now the reason why I use PPD transfer paper is because most canvases themselves are made out of cotton and that is perfect for when you are pressing t-shirts with PPD paper. So I decided to try it beforehand um, and and, and it worked pretty well. And now I'm just kind of perfecting getting the images cut as close as possible. This is me pressing it onto the canvas. And as you can see, bam, after about two tries and 30 seconds, on uh, 15 seconds each try, it finally pressed. So I just do it twice just to make sure that it is sealed and nice and glued onto the canvas i forgot what i was gonna say there for a second but it's whatever now this is me just creating bold outlines using my sharpie that's the best way that you can make sure that you can still see those bold outlines once you are done as you're going to see here in a moment after i'm finished and i hold it up i'm going to pull up an example one right next to it and as you can see it's like night and day yes the lines are dark on the one on the left but the one on the right is a tad darker and these are what they look like once they are painted as you can see they came out beautiful if you enjoyed this video please remember to like subscribe and share goodbye